It's not GameCube, it's not forwards compatibility, and it's not even streaming. Well, surprise, surprise, the online NSL Playtest program leaked, and it's not what you think. Well, like that wasn't totally predictable. I don't know how Nintendo can be so naive as to think that this wouldn't leak by telling 10,000 playtesters to not share anything without them signing a legal NDA. And these playtesters would just not share it out of the kindness of their heart. Of course it got leaked! And I'm betting it'd still get leaked even if they did sign an NDA. You know, with all the leaks that keep happening around Nintendo, I'm beginning to wonder if Nintendo secretly wants their information to get out. So the Nintendo buzz in the media stays sky high to keep everyone's interest peaked at all times. Not only did it leak this last Sunday night, but images were shown too. This user posted images on X saying, hope Nintendo doesn't kill me. And he quickly took it down. Ethan must have been spooked by what could have happened if Nintendo Ninjas caught wind of it and showed up in the morning. Hey, open up! Now, Nintendo must be mad because they're aggressively trying to stop this information from coming out by DMCAing all images shown from this playtest. So I'm not going to show its images here. Psst, but I'm sure you can find it if you search for it. But what is it? The closest thing I can attribute it to being is Mind Blocks. Huh? Nintendo's own MMO that has Minecraft and Roblox features, but is also different. Well, that's vague. Now, since this game is being developed so late into the Switch One's life cycle, it will either be one of those bridging games that keep people interested in NSO for the Switch 2, or it won't even come out for the general public because it's Nintendo's way to test large MMO server stress testing technology. That's probably it, since Nintendo is a sneaky ninja. Anyways, it's developed by the EPD team at Nintendo that worked on Labo, which kind of lets you know the route this is going, and that this is more of an experimental, non-typical Nintendo game. This isn't necessarily for the Mario or Zelda players. It's for a different audience and Nintendo tapping into a different way of exploring. Peter Grimm from Game Rant had this to say about it. According to reports from sources like The Verge and Kotaku, these leaks reveal that Nintendo is working on a MMO game where the main objective is for players to work together to fully develop a massive, expansive planet. They do this by laying down beacons that create zones and further develop the environment, with the overall goal being to cover the sphere-shaped grid representing the planet with beacons. Aside from these beacon zones, Players can also head to a social hub known as the Dev Core to level up their characters, acquire items, and interact with other players. Something that they will likely be able to test out to some extent during the Nintendo Switch Online Playtest program. Customization seems to be a key aspect of this Nintendo Switch MMO, as players will be able to customize their beacons to some extent, though they won't be able to do the same in other players' zones. Nintendo also describes features for sharing custom content, though players must pass an in-game test to show that they understand the importance of respectful communication before they can access these features. From the looks of it, Nintendo's MMO could be shaping up to be something like a massively multiplayer mix of Minecraft and Roblox, with potentially thousands of players shaping the in-game world together and sharing custom content with one another. Such a title would certainly stand out from the company's usual selection of games, so it'll be interesting to see how things pan out beyond the playtest program. If you like what you're hearing and want to keep getting more Nintendo Switch and Switch 2 news, click the like and subscribe buttons so you won't miss out on anything. Now that players have been able to download and play the game, many are cooperating what Peter Grimm has said, with it being an MMO Minecraft Roblox kind of building game, unlike anything Nintendo has ever done before, where you can interact with hundreds or thousands of players at the same time. And I want to make a shout out to YouTube creator Sunbro Nation, who did get accepted into this playtest program and had a lot of great things to say about it. In his video on Thursday that I have a link for in the description below, Sunbro said, 
I personally believe this will have big implications for the future of the service. And while this does just feel like an early test for a game that will just be a benefit for expansion pack members, it also, more importantly, feels like a test of Nintendo stress testing their servers on the back end as far as how many players they can support in any kind of game they want to build from an MMO perspective. Sunbro further adds, I believe that as we transition to next-gen hardware and Nintendo builds out kind of the future of NSO 2.0 or whatever that revamp looks like, that this is the core technology that they will be using behind it. Whatever they are doing to run all of these players in this one massive world, if they incorporate that into their first party lineup of games, online play will have gotten a significant upgrade across the board. And that's probably the most exciting aspect of this test. It definitely is a different kind of game than what Nintendo usually makes. It might be an actual game for everyone to play at some point, or it's just a way to stress test their servers and technology so Nintendo can make powerful MMO games in the future. I can definitely see Animal Crossing or even Pokemon using this technology at some point in the future, with thousands of players working together on a massive online world. What are your thoughts? Leave a comment and let me know what you think about this NSO playtest. Were you lucky enough to get chosen to be a part of it? Are you wanting to see the full potential of an upgraded MMO server technology that would allow future games to have a much more immersive multiplayer experience? Or could you care less about it and you were really hoping it would be GameCube games? Want more information on this NSO playtest and the technologies it could also be used for? If so, you'll definitely want to watch this video here.